Hey, welcome football fans, and we're here ready for uh, the Calgary Colts taking on the Saskatoon Hilltops. Uh, thank you for joining us here live on the YouTube stream from McMahon Stadium. Uh, we're just about to get underway here. Uh, there have been a couple changes if you follow the um, CJFL at all. Um, head coach Matt Snoop Blocker resigned over personal reasons, um, and assistant coach Tim Kurse will be taking over. Uh, here, Curse has tons of uh, NFL and CFL experience at uh, a couple different positions, so uh, this will be his first game manning the team. So uh, we'll see. We're just about ready for kickoff here. And uh, as you're, as uh, Saskatoon's just taking a minute to try and compose, the officials are getting ready. And we're going to get this game underway. The kick is high and over end. Received, uh, oh, dropped and uh, picked up right around the 30-yard line. And they'll go down at the 36-yard. So that's where Calgary's offense will take over here. So as the offense is... Uh, about to take the field, we'll run through uh, exactly who your Calgary offense is for today. At the quarter pack position, the number four, Bailey Wasdall, will be calling the plays. Number 67, Mike Anwick, is your center, so he will uh, snap the ball from the 36-yard line. There's a snap, handoff, and run. Not going to be much uh, yard there. Good job by the Saskatoon Hilltops to... Um, Limit that first play. At the slot back position, you'll have Brandon McIsaac. McIsaac is actually the second in receiving yards uh, so far in the Prairie uh, Conference here. 23 receptions for 320 yards, so we'll see if Wasdall goes to him. He's going to the air, and a drop pass that was intended for, it looked like... Brandon McIsaac. So, Wasdall going to his uh, leading receiver quite early here in the game. You also have number 19, Jesse Kuntz, on the other side of uh, Wasdall here. The Colts are forced to kick it away. It's a good kick, end over end, received at the 35-yard line. 
A little bit of a handoff play there by the Saskatoon Hilltops, and they'll gain a little bit of extra yardage on the kick. I believe that was uh, number 15, uh, Ryan Turple. He was able to uh, hand it off there, and the Hilltops will take their first possession starting at the 41-yard line. Now, head-to-head last season, these uh, teams only met once, where Calgary was victorious and beat Saskatoon 36-21 on the road. Uh, the first half, the first half was all Colts, uh, 16 points in the first, 17 points in the second. So it'll be interesting to see if Calgary can get out to the same offense. Big hit, and Saskatoon gets uh, probably a loss of about four or five yards on that play. Good job by the Calgary defense to knock them back a couple yards. So it will be second down. Second down and probably about 12 here for Saskatoon. Say break huddle. Your Saskatoon quarterback is Jordan Walls, one of the top quarterbacks in the league so far. We'll get to the quarterback matchup a little bit later. So number 19 calling the shots, a handoff play to the far side. And Saskatoon's going to get wide open, and that's not quite enough for the uh, first down. They're going to go down to about the uh, 52-yard Line. So Saskatoon's, uh, I believe Saskatoon's punt team is going to come, come out. Now there have been, like we mentioned, a couple uh, changes here for the Colts. So uh, teams or players or coaches are just looking to make sure that they get the right number of players out on the field. Look like there's a little bit of confusion, but the Colts have their punt return team here. Your returner, number 19, Jesse Kuntz, is stationed on the far side of the field, 20-yard line. Here's the kick, and it's going to be well short of the 20-yard line, closer to about the 30, and that's going to bounce out of bounds at uh, about the 26-yard line. So, no, uh, or neither team able to capitalize on a first down uh, over the course of their first possession here, but Calgary will take over. Bailey Wasdall is going to be trying to uh, get the offense going here. Wide receiver position, we have number 85, Nathan Hillier. And then on the other side, Dallas Burke. So uh, a good receiving core here as the Calgary Colts offense lines up. Three men in the backfield. Jesse Koontz in the shotgun snap. And looks like he's going to the air. Great leaping catch and then brought down. That was number 19, Jesse Koontz, making a terrific grab, but wasn't able to get any yards on the play. Calgary does have a chance here, though. It looks like um, there will be second and two. So, number four, Bailey Wasdall. Shotgun, three receivers to the wide side. There's the snap. It's a high one. He's going to the air again. Great catch. That'll be a first down. No catch. No, it, uh, bounced uh, before Calgary Colts were able to uh, bring it down. That would have been a first down, but instead the kicking team will come off. So the offense stalling uh, a little bit for both of these teams early on. As we mentioned last time these uh, teams met in the regular season, it was uh, early offense. Uh, and then the Hilltops came in the uh, fourth quarter, but they ended up uh, only being able to score the 21 points, not coming close. Calgary winning that game 36-21. There's the kick. Hilltops will receive it at their own 50-yard line and cross center. We do have a flag on the play. The Hilltops trying to break free. Great run by number 15, Ryan Turple. So, again, the receiving core of the Saskatoon uh, being crafty. The first uh, punt return was a little bit of a gadget play and then uh, a great return there. So, pushing into the Calgary's end, it looks like the Saskatoon Hilltops, depending on the penalty here, will take over at uh, Calgary's 36-yard line. So, uh, just, uh, just under four minutes gone here in the first. So, penalty was declined. First down, Saskatoon will take over. Jordan Walls lining up his receivers. Three to the wide side, two to the near side. Only one in the backfield. Shotgun snap. There's the play and hands it off. Flag on the play, uh, two in the backfield, 
as Saskatoon makes a good run there. Number 21, Logan Fisher pushing through, but we'll see uh, we'll see what the flags are for. Saskatoon, uh, so far in the season, is third in rushing. They're also third in passing, so they have a fairly balanced offense. Another penalty on the uh, Calgary defense. That pen too many men. So uh, the players trying to get organized here. Coaches trying to get the numbers that they want out. Saskatoon pushing just inside the red zone at the 20-yard line. Jordan Walls in the shotgun. Going to the air. Throws it up. That one's going to go into the end zone. Intercepted by the Calgary Colts. That's going to be brought out of the end zone. They're down to the 20, the 30. Trying to run down and eventually run out of bounds and pushed out right at the 40. We, pass interference is most likely the call on the Colts. So I think that uh, interception will come back. But uh, that was a that was a good pickoff play. It'll be interesting to see if the Colts will be penalized here. The officials uh, for today's game are uh, trying to figure out what they're looking to uh, call in this play here. And pass interference, and Saskatoon's going to get another shot at the end zone. So it'll be uh, first and 10 again from just inside the Colts' own 20-yard line. So Jordan Ray getting called for the uh, pass interference there. And the uh, Saskatoon Hilltops will be moved all the way up to just inside the five-yard line here. So Saskatoon getting a chance. Jordan Walls just under center. He's going to hand off. Great little leaping run, but uh, not enough yards. That was uh, Logan Fisher again. So Jordan Walls uh, picking a... An, a favorite rusher here early on in the game. Walls with a couple of carries so far. So 10 minutes left to go here in the first quarter. Saskatoon moves that ball a couple inches up. So they'll be uh, second and goal. Well, it's three yards to go. We'll see Saskatoon under, uh, under center. Handing it off again, going to that wide side, and Saskatoon Hilltops capitalize. Touchdown, Saskatoon. They're going to go up uh, early here in the game. We'll see what Saskatoon's going to decide to do with the uh, point after here. Looks like they're going to kick. Saskatoon's kicker for today is Sam Mike, number four. Going for the point after. Actually, it looks like uh, they're going to be switching it up. Number 24, James Vaus, deciding to kick it, and it's good. So with uh, just uh, over five minutes gone here in the first quarter, it's all Hilltoppers. They go up 7 nothing. So Hilltops are going to be kicking it off, and Colts are going to have a chance to respond here. So I think James Voss is going to be kicking it off here again. He makes sure his uh, defensive special teams core is good, and that was a good kick all the way down to the five-yard line. The Colts bring it out, cutting to the 20-yard line and running out of bounds. That was Jesse Kuntz taking a look at some of uh, Calgary's special teams stats. Jesse Kuntz is uh, all over that sheet. Uh, in two games, he's had four returns for 25 yards, averaging 6.2. So that little return there, uh, well above uh, what he averages out. Uh, for kick returns, 96 yards. Um, that's 16 yards per return that he's averaging so far. So he currently leads the team in kick return yardage. Holding on the Colts. So the ball will come back and uh, the Calgary Colts will have a long field to work with here. 
Bailey Wasdall breaks the huddle and the shotgun snap. One receiver to the near side, two to the far. There's the snap, and they're going to go to the ground and get about five yards on that run. Bailey Wasdall deciding to uh, go to 82 Brandon McIsaac for that little run. So it will be second, and looks like they're going to mark him at about the 11-yard line. So it'll be second and eight. Haley Wasdall in the shotgun formation. Four receivers to the open wide side. In a little bit of trouble, and he's taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by Saskatoon to uh, get the sack there. Taking a look at Saskatoon's defense, some of their leaders on that team have been uh, quite impressive. Cameron Schnitzler uh, with 16 tackles currently leads the team, but Riley Pickett has the two sacks Equaling him with two sacks, you also have Luke Melnick. And then Riley Keating actually leads the Saskatoon defense with three quarterback sacks. So, third down, Colts are forced to punt. And they're going to take it, and that will be a single point for Saskatoon. Two points. So, good job uh, by the special teams there on Saskatoon to pin the, pin the team deep. Penalties obviously did play a factor in that one so far this season the Calgary uh, Colts are the second most penalized team in the league uh, 82 flags and uh, second in the in the prairies and penalized whereas the Saskatoon Hilltops have only been penalized 33 times so a very very disciplined team against the Calgary Colts who uh, have been taking a couple penalties so 830 left to go in this first quarter Hilltoppers are up 9 nothing, And Calgary will be kicking the ball here. Jaden Shillian will be uh, trying to pin the Hilltops deep. Kicking from the 35-yard line. Hilltops in the, in the back. Here's the kick. Low kick, end over end. Received right at the 25-yard line of the Hilltops. And a blazing run by uh, number 20. That's Adam Martian. Good job uh, to uh, take that. Now, there is a flag on the play, but he moves it up to, uh, looks like, right at center field. So we'll see where Saskatoon gets to uh, start with the ball here. Holding on Saskatoon, so they're going to be pushed back. Looks like the officials are going to be placing the ball right around the 40-yard line. So the call was an illegal block, 10-yard penalty, so the Hilltops... Uh, will uh, basically negate that good run, so they'll be taking over from the 30-yard line. Jordan Walls calling out his receivers, goes to the ground, and he's going to be stopped up by the Calgary Colts defense. A little bit of rough stuff after the play, but looks like everyone's good. I'll be... Uh, Basically, just at the line, in, line of scrimmage, so it'll be second and 10. Saskatoon at their own 30 yard line. Looked like Jordan Walls electing to go with Logan Fisher on that run. We'll see what he's deciding to do here. Jordan Walls in the shotgun, no one in the back going to the air. Nice little play right in the flat. Not enough for a first down. Looked like that was number 47 taking, uh, making the hit, Reese Sampson. 
good job to uh, force the Col or force the Hilltops to bring out their kicking team. So, I believe that will be uh, James Vouse again. He's going to be trying to pin the Colts deep. Jesse Koontz is uh, back, standing on his own 35-yard line, waiting for the kick. There's the snap. The kick. High. Forces Koontz back to his own 20. Ball's tumbling. And he'll pick it up at the 20-yard line and get wrapped up. Number nine, so that was that was actually Jordy Kimbamba making the return. And then it looked like number 47, Riley Keating of the Saskatoon Hilltops, making the special teams tackle. So Calgary's going to be pinned back at their own 21-yard line, trying to get on the board here. We only have seven minutes left to go in the first quarter. Still 9-0 Hilltoppers. Bailey Wasdall calling out flags. Fly. We'll probably push Calgary Colts back five yards. Early on in the season, the uh, first home game that we had here in Calgary, uh, that game was filled with offside calls on, on both teams. A little bit later on in the season here, you expect to uh, have the communication be a little bit more clear, but uh, penalties will still happen. The officials holding a conference down there and trying to figure out what they'll call as uh, two officials threw flags there. In case you're wondering about the officials for today's game, you have uh, Daryl Hearn as your referee. Your umpire is Francois Coudermarche. Headlinesman Dan Mulville. And so those officials there uh, called on the defense. So the Calgary Colts move up. So it's first and five. Scrimmaging from their own 21-yard line. Looking for a first down here. Wasdall looking to the air. Throw, pass, and he's got number 19. Jesse Koontz making the reception just near center field. That will be a first down and more as Colts able to pick up about 20, 25 yards on that reception. So they will get their first first down of the game. Scrimmaging from just on their side of the center line, 54-yard line. First and 10, Bailey Wastall with uh, two men in the backfield, two receivers to either side. High snap, hands off. And uh, no gain on that play. Now, uh, as good as the Calgary passing has been, they're currently second in the Prairie Conference in passing. They're fifth in rushing. So they have not been quite successful uh, when they decide to try and hand the ball off here. Try and run it along the ground. It looks like there is an injury right at center field. That is on the Colts number 57 Mike Anowick. So as we uh, have a moment here, we'll remind you guys to uh, join us on Saturday, September 24th at 12 p.m. for the next home game where the Calgary Colts will host uh, an interesting matchup. This will be the London Beef Eaters, so some interconference play here. Uh, they're from the Ontario Football Conference, still of the CJFL. Kickoff for the game is just one week away. We've seen this a fair bit um, in the CJFL, as this is the first year that interconference play has been announced. Uh, a couple of the teams or a couple of the games have already happened in this season. If we take a look, the first time in CJFL history that they're hosting these games, they've had four games so far, and it's all been Prairie Conference teams winning. Winnipeg beat Ottawa in a bloodbath, 51-0. Edmonton beat the Fratman, 30-7. Regina beat Hamilton, 61-7. And Sask Saskatoon Hilltoppers that we're watching right now beat Ottawa, 49-15. If you're keeping score at home with those uh, tallies, the Prairie has outscored Ontario teams, 191-29. So, when the Calgary Colts welcome the London Beef Eaters there, they'll be... Uh, a little bit of pressure from the rest of the Prairie teams to continue the uh, 
string of wins here. The final set of interconference games will feature the two teams we see tonight. Uh, so Eastern squads coming to the Prairies. The Wildcats will face Hamilton for the first time in 40 years. And the Colts will take on the London Beefeaters for the first time ever. Like we said, that game goes to 12 o'clock, September 24th here at McMahon, and we will have the call for you on YouTube. So, Calgary Colts going to the air. Good little pass. That looked like it was uh, Dylan Minchel making the run, but not able to get the first down. So, it will be third and, I think, third and two is where they're going to mark the ball, and the offense is staying out there. So, they're going to be going for this one. Calgary Colts uh, pushing into Saskatoon territory here from Saskatoon 48-yard line. Wastall looking out. He's forced out of the pocket. He's going to take it himself, get the first yard or first down and a few yards afterwards. Good job by Wasdall to um, see the pressure coming from his left side, roll out, and after needing just a few yards, he's able to move the chains. So, Calgary Colts threatening a little bit here. 4.45 left to go in the first quarter. Still 9-0 for the Hilltoppers. Wasdall on the shotgun. They're going to go to the ground, run it, and maybe a gain of about three yards. Saskatoon able to wrap them up. So, this will be second, and we'll see where they mark it here, but it looks like it'll be about second. And six, second and seven. The Calgary Colts. Lazdahl having a quick little chat with his running backs here, trying to organize them. They're really uh, loading up that far side, the open side of the field here. Lazdahl's got a good arm. See if he uses it. Looks like he's going to be going to the air. Under pressure, throws it right into the flat. That will be a first down for the Calgary Colts. Good job by Brandon McIsaac making his presence felt again as the Calgary Colts uh, continue this drive, pushing to the uh, red zone here. Great run by Brandon, or great catch by Brandon McIsaac, but it looks like the Saskatoon defense was uh, mixed up a little bit. There is no one anywhere in that area. So... Wasdall with two receivers to the wide side. A little bit of a fake handoff, and he's under pressure. He gets away from one and then just throws it away out of bounds. Wasdall didn't have any protection in the backfield there, forced to roll out to his near side. A late flag thrown by the officials. We'll see what the officials are going to be calling here. They're calling a chop block, I think. We'll see what they call. We'll wait for the official's word here. So, Asdall didn't quite... Yeah. So, the official's calling the intentional grounding, and that will uh, push the Colts back. It will be second and long here. Wasdall organizing, only having one man in the backfield right now. Three receivers to the wide side. Shotgun snap. Wasdall looks like he's going to the air. And he has a receiver, but it's going to be right down about the line of scrimmage. Uh, reception there by Dylan Minchel, but he's not able to get any ground. So it will be third and long with Calgary, believe, uh, looking to kick here and get on the board. That's, uh, I believe, is it number 17, Dallas Burke. Get an idea here. 88, maybe Jaden Shalen. There's the kick. And it's good. So, three points for the Colts. They will get on the board. Just over two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Your score will be nine for the Hilltoppers, three for the Colts. So a far cry from uh, any sort of big offensive uh, first quarter pressure here from the uh, or by the uh, Colts, but 
they're able to get on the board here. We'll see if the Calgary defense can come up with a big stop and get regain Calgary's or get Calgary to regain the uh, possession here. So Calgary will be kicking off. It looks like that's going to be Jaden again here. So far this season, uh, Shalen has played in four games. He is he's had uh, four field goal attempts, and he's made two of them. So good job there. Hilltoppers receive it, and they get tackled at about the 20-yard line. So good job by the special teams there. You see a little bit of emotion from a few of the Colts players there. Number 40, Tanaka Mutanto making the tackle. That actually might have been Mitchell Burns, sorry. So Mitchell Burns making the tackle on the special teams there for Calgary. Hilltoppers will take over at their own 23-yard line. Three receivers to the far side, and that's where they're looking. Long pass, but overshot. Jordan Walls looked like he was looking for maybe Ryan Turple over there on the uh, wide side, but just overthrown, so it'll be second and ten. Hilltoppers really uh, trying to put a dent in this long field that they have at the end of the first quarter, just under two minutes left to play. Jordan Walls in the shotgun formation. Four receivers to the far side. And he's going to roll out looking. And great reception. We'll see if he was inbounds. I believe they're going to call that a catch. Great reception by number four, Mike's, or Sam Mike. Able to move the chains, leaping out of bounds and being able to keep his uh, feet on the turf there. Gives Saskatoon some life here, a little bit uh, late in the quarter. Jordan Walls with the handoff, and Saskatoon's not able to get too, too much on that one. If you guys are watching on the live stream here, a uh, video may be in and out from time to time, so we'll try and keep you posted. Right now it is second and seven, scrimmaging from the 43-yard line of the Colt, or of the uh, Hilltops. Walls having to go to the air, and he's got a receiver. Another great catch, number 15, Ryan Turple. Both sidelines there going end-to-end -end using the entire field, and uh, great job by the receiving core of the Saskatoon Hilltops. There's a flag on the play, so that play might be negated. It's going back. Wait for uh, the official's word here. Holding on Saskatoon. So as much as this team is uh, rarely penalized, only 33 uh, penalties so far in the season, the Hilltops get pushed back. So it will be second and long, 17 yards to go. Walls looking to the air. He's forced out of the pocket, under pressure, looking for a receiver, tries to plant his, plant his feet, and then throw that way past, uh, way out of bounds. That was thrown uh, well past the Calgary bench. And so what was a promising looking drive for the Saskatoon Hillops ends in a kick, and Calgary will get possession here with 19 seconds left to go in the quarter. Another late flag from the officials gets thrown. That's uh, about 45 seconds after the play. And so we'll see, uh, try and get a word on what that penalty was. We may be replaying this down. We have the call. And another intentional grounding call, this time on the Hilltops, Jordan Walls. So, and push back even farther. So they will be kicking from, the ball will be placed on the 31-yard line. And Sam Mike will be kicking it off here.
Kicking from his own 15-yard line. The kick, end over end, around the 40 line of the Colts. Run out to center field. So, looks like there will probably be one more play here in the first quarter. Current score is 9-3 to three for the toppers. We'll see if Bailey Wasdall tries to make a dent here. The officials having words here. Holding on Calgary, and it will be a first down. So, ball gets pushed back to the 34-yard line of the Colts. Lasdell calling out his play. Three receivers to the near side. There's the snap. Looking to the air. And he's got a receiver there. I think that was number 88. 82 McIsaac again. And that's the end of the first quarter. So at the end of the first year, it is nine for Saskatoon, three for the Colts. Now last last year, uh, not only did these teams meet in the regular season, they also meet in the playoffs or met in the playoffs. Saskatoon beat Calgary 43-31. In a game that featured two talented offenses, Anderchuk picked his spots. He went uh, 15 for 23 for 154 yards, but managed to get three touchdowns out of uh, his receiving core. Wasdall answered with 300 yards of his own and two touchdowns, but the Hilltops defense was on point. They forced three turnovers. Calgary didn't force a single one. So that was the real story of that game. The Hilltoppers went on to win the Prairie Conference uh, and represent the uh, Prairies in the Canada Cup. They finished, uh, the Hilltoppers finished top of the Prairie Conference last season, and they won the Canadian Bowl for the third straight year and six times since 2010, beating the West Shore Rebels 37-25. As we've seen here so far, rushing was key, racking up 298 yards and a touchdown, most of that coming from the offensive player of the game, Logan Fisher, who had 202 yards of his own on 28 carries. Fisher also caught four passes for 43 yards and two touchdowns, while quarterback Jared Andrichuk ended his junior career on a high note, winning his fourth Canadian Bowl and securing a perfect postseason record at 9-0. He's definitely in the conversation for one of the uh, best postseason quarterbacks to ever play in the Canadian Junior Football League. So as uh, the last couple seconds tick down here, as we get ready to play for or play in the second quarter, just want to remind you that you can actually win a free Canadian Junior Football League merchandise at today's game. Uh, if you take a selfie right now and tag it on Instagram, you could be the weekly winner of a $50 gift certificate. So if anyone's listening to the broadcast here and wants to take part in that, just uh, tag your Instagram hashtag with CJFL fan photo. You can win that $50 gift certificate to the online merchandise store. So if you want to pick up any gear, if you're uh, not the lucky winner there, you can pick up some gear. Also, if you're interested in joining the Calgary Colts Volunteer Committee, please contact Cody Jones at volunteers at calorycolts.com. Volunteers, obviously, an extremely important part of any amateur or junior sport. So we're ready to uh, kick off this second quarter here. Calgary scrimmaging its first and 10. Just from their own zone, Wasdall goes to the air, and there's a flag on the play. I think McIsaac was uh, the receiver there, but we'll see uh, what the officials determine. Some of these receivers have uh, definitely shown their uh, talents and skills with some great catches, leaping catches, and uh, on both sides. The players are uh, indicating that the penalty will most likely get declined and Calgary will take the gain. No penalty at all. So, first down for Calgary. 
Ball's placed on the Hilltoppers 50-yard line here. Bailey Wastall organizing his offensive line right under quarterback for this one. Under center and officials call the play dead. We see Wasdall working from the shotgun formation a lot. Again, he's got a, uh, a great receiving core so far. Uh, Bailey Wasdall is actually second in the uh, Prairie Conference with 165 yards. And then on the other side of the board, Jordan Walls that we've uh, seen be uh, quite successful here for the Hilltoppers. He's number three with 826 yards. So both of these quarterbacks today have uh, been successful to this point. Calgary uh, in the standings right now is unfortunately sitting in fifth place. They are one and three, so as much as those offensive yards have been racked up, it hasn't turned into points. So Wastall with the snap right under center, handed off, and great run by the Colts. That was Minchel carrying the rock for Calgary, getting another first down and pushing farther into Saskatoon territory. Just under a minute elapsed here in the second quarter. Calgary threatening. Ball placed on the 35-yard uh, line. First and 10. Blasdell in the shotgun formation. Three receivers to the near side. Under pressure. Tries to get it away, and it is able to. Good job by Bennett Thompson to... Uh, Pull that ball down. Wasdall was under all sorts of pressure from the Saskatoon Hilltops defense. And it will be second and five. Second and three. Wasdall calling out the play. Saskatoon bringing tons of pressure here. And reception, number 19, makes a move, tries to get to the end zone, is brought down at about the six-yard line. That was Jesse Coons doing a good job to make a move. Another uh, great, quick little pass there by uh, Wastall out to the uh, sideline there, and then Coons able to get a few yards after the catch. Jesse Coons uh, this season has only had... Um, Take a look here. He's had uh, 18 receptions. That's uh, second, good for second best on the team here. And Calgary tries to uh, make a short little pass. Wasdall was under all sorts of pressure there, rolling out to his uh, to his right side, trying to shovel the ball into the end zone. It will be second and five. Calgary threatening. Bailey Wazel on the shotgun, looking to the air to the far side, and Saskatoon able to lay the body. Great job by number nine, Colton Holmes, to break up that pass. Did it cleanly as well, so no penalty, and Calgary's forced uh, third and five, and they're bringing out the kicking team. Jaden Sheelan will have a chance to put another three spot on the board here. Short kick, looks like he's... Uh, Getting ready to kick it from about his, the 12-yard uh, line here. Jesse Koontz is the holder. There's the snap, the kick, and it's good. So Calgary able to chip away a little bit into the Hilltoppers' lead. It's currently 6-9 to nine in favor of the Saskatoon Hilltoppers. About two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Or in the second quarter. Looking back at Saskatoon Hilltoppers record so far, they have a record of three and one. Week one, they had a 37-20 win over their uh, provincial rivals in Regina. Week two, a win 44 nothing over Winnipeg, and then a week three win 49-15 over Ottawa. That was that interconference game. So. 
Saskatoon taking over. And a little bit of a run. It will be second and so it's second and five. Yeah. Second and six. So Jordan Walls under shotgun, three receivers to the open side. That's where he's looking. Under tons of pressure, fakes the pass, takes it himself, and is able to run it for a couple of yards, but it's going to be short of the third down. The Calgary bench excited about that one as the defense is able to put up a big stop. Great job by Chris Pete Schwartz to uh, make that play and force the Saskatoon offense off the field. So Saskatoon will be kicking the ball from about their uh, own 30 or 28 yard line. Calgary with two receivers back there ready. There's the kick over to the near sides just in between the hash marks and the numbers. And a little bit of a run that will be a couple yards after the after the uh, catch will be the ball placed on about the 40, looks like the 42-yard line, 43-yard line. Bailey Wasdall will go back to work here. Trying to get within at least field goal territory and tie this game up. The Colts break huddle. Saskatoon only bringing five to the line. Hand off from Calgary. Good little move, but uh, it's not going to be much gained there. He's still second down and a little bit left to go. Landon Rose getting a chance to uh, run the ball there for Calgary. So just over four and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Hilltopper still up 9-6. Ailey Wasdall decided to go in shotgun formation. Four receivers, the three receivers to the near side. He rolls out wide, looking, and that was almost picked off by number 14, 44. or 44, Cody Peters. Good job by the Hilltoppers defense to uh, get in front of that one, and a quick three and out by the Hilltoppers defense. Calgary will be forced to kick here. Kicking from their own 31-yard line. The kick is just kicked into the uh, Saskatoon bench. Goes out of bound at the 35-yard line. And Saskatoon offense will take over. Jordan Walls trying to extend Saskatoon's lead here. So we have a minute. We want to thank some of the sponsors and corporate partners of the Calgary Colts. Big Kahuna and the Calgary Stampeders, as well as the Calgary Stampeders Foundation, Calgary Area Midget Football, and Calgary Bantam Football, all being an important part of this organization. Walls with a quick outlet pass. To number 21, Logan Fisher. He brings it down at about the 50-yard line. A second. Be second down for the Hilltoppers here. So second and two on the 52-yard line. Trying to push into Calgary's territory. See what Walls is looking to do. Directly under center for this short yardage play. Snaps the ball, hands it into the, down to the running back, pushes it through. That was another carry by Logan Fisher. He's able to fall on the uh, correct side of the first down marker, and Saskatoon will move the chains. So with 9-11 left to go here. Oh. Oh. 
And so as much as the Saskatoon Hilltoppers look like they were able to push into Calgary territory, they get pushed back themselves. We'll replay the second down. <gasps> so it'll be in second and 12 from their own 42-yard line. Walls all alone in the backfield looking to the air and way uh, overshoots Logan Fisher. A couple of uh, red jerseys were in the area, including uh, Tom Thomas Gortz. Almost uh, had a chance to pick that one off. But instead, Calgary will force the Hilltoppers to kick the ball away. Nine minutes left to go here in the first half. Whistles blow, and Saskatoon will kick it off, trying to pin Calgary deep. A little bit of a high snap. Kick is away. Right on the near side hash marks here. And a quick run as Calgary is able to get a couple yards. Breaks a tackle. That was number 21, Dylan Minchel, receiving the kick there. And a great run afterwards. We take a look at the uh, special teams here for kick returning. Dylan Minchel leads the team with seven receptions, and but he has 82 yards, averaging 11.7 yards per punt return. So a little bit more on that one. Calgary takes over at their own 44-yard line, first and 10. Bailey Wasdall goes to work, but before he can snap the ball off or call the play, whistles fly. Some of the other sponsors of the Calgary Colts uh, that the Calgary Colts would like to thank, Orange Ambition, RGO Products, the University of Calgary Dinos, who they share the field with here, Electric Shots Photography, Centrum Group of Companies, Horizon North, Vagabond Calgary, New West Truck Centers, Belumbos, and Will Snipes, DJ. So, penalty on the play will force Calgary back five yards. We'll replay the first down. Ailey Wastall tries to go to work here. Three receivers to the near side. And intercepted, thrown right into the hands of the Hilltoppers, number 60, or number 50, Cameron Snitzler. Sorry if I butchered that one. And a big turnover for the Hilltoppers in Calgary's own zone. No flags on the play, so that will be a, uh, a clean catch for the Hilltoppers. They will take the ball, looks like at the 38-yard line in Calgary territory. Great job by the Saskatoon defense to uh, get that turnover, get the ball back to Jordan Walls, who receives the snap, goes to the air, has got one receiver. Calgary players all over on that side. That was a little bit of a risky pass as there is a few Colts in that area. Lucky not to get uh, picked off after Saskatoon got the interception on the last play, but it will be second and 10 from the 38-yard line. Score is still 9-6 for the toppers. Walls goes to work, fakes a... Uh, Quick pass, and he's got a reception. Saskatoon will punch it in for a touchdown. 15. Number 15, Ryan Turple, doing a great job of uh, receiving that pass at around the 10-yard line, and then he had uh, no trouble punching that in. Toppers go up 15-6 over the Colts. Point after pending here. That just shows how uh, dangerous those uh, turnovers in your own territory are. So, penalty called unnecessary roughness, but the uh, touchdown will stand here. Saskatoon looking for the point after. There's the kick, and it's good. So, at another point, 16-6 for the Hilltoppers. 
A little bit of uh, technical issues, but we have at least uh, audio back here. So 16-6, 7-10 left to go in the first half. Calgary Colts working with the ball in their own zone. A little bit of a run there by uh, Jesse Kuntz. Actually, sorry, that was... Uh, Dylan Minchel was able to uh, run it in. It will be second and six. Ball's on the Calgary 28-yard line. Bailey Wasdall looking for his receivers. Four to the wide side, but he's looking for a close side and able to get a reception there. Number 12 pulling the ball, or number 22 pulling it in. Landon Rose 